just three months before the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic were first felt within darts, Raymond Van Barneveld suffered his devastating 3-1 loss to Darren Young in the first round of the PDC World Championship, which was set to be his final professional game as he retired after it. Following the match, Barney said that he would never be able to forgive himself. However, he wasn't away from the game for long, as when the pandemic struck, he began to play in online webcam darts competitions. He first appeared in week one of the Modus Icons of Darts League, where he finished fifth out of the sixth players in the table with 10 points from 20 games and a leg difference of minus 31. In the following week, Modus launched a second tournament known as the Night at the Darts, which ran alongside the Icons League. Barney and Martin Adams were the headline players for this first week of the Night of the Dart series. Following the Monday and Tuesday of this new event, he had played 8 games and sat 4th out of the 6 players on the table with a leg difference of minus 5. He was ahead of Martin Adams in the table. On the first day, he had 1 average of 77, 1 of 86 and 2 of 90. On the second day, 3 of his averages were over 90 whilst one was 84. This is key information with what we are about to look at. On the 16th of April, which was the Thursday, Barney had more matches and he opened up the session against Martin Adams. This match took place in the early pandemic webcam darts era and so only ball cams are available with Barney playing in his girlfriend's living room. Ahead of the game, fans in the stream's live chat began to question Barney's high odds of 11 to 8. These high odds were from the Betfair exchange where tens of thousands of pounds had been put on Adams to win ahead of the game, causing Barney's odds to drift from 1.5 to 2.4 shortly before the game began. Reports stated that 81 grand was put on Adams to win, which is crazy for a webcam darts game with nothing on the line. The game began and Barney won the ball in the first to five leg contest. However, he made a terrible start to the game and was only down to 1-3-3 after 18 darts thrown, averaging just 61.3, allowing Adams to take out 25 and break in the first leg. The second leg wasn't much better for Barney, as after five visits to the board, he was still on 207, allowing Adams to hit double four and easily hold. By this point, Barney had only hit a score over 100 once and he was averaging just 60.1. The third leg saw Barney hit a 140 and he was first down to a double, missing one at 32 from 105. He was allowed to return but missed three more before missing another three on his next visit, taking the total to seven for that leg. Adams took out 41 on the following visit to break and go 3-0 up on Barney who was averaging just 60.7. After 15 darts in the fourth leg, Barney was only on 179, allowing Adams to take out 70 in two and go a leg away from the win. Raymond started the fifth leg with a 135, followed by his first 180 of the game. He was down to a makeable finish at 68, where he hit a single 20 before slipping into the treble 16 to bust, allowing Adams to hit double 12 and win. Barney lost 5-0 and averaged just 65 compared to Adams's 83. He missed all 7 of his shots at double and only hit 4 scores over 100 in the whole game. When the results were posted on Twitter, Barney was accused of match fixing due to the odd changes before the game as well as his very poor performance. Fans called on the incident to be investigated. Barney played in 3 more games that night losing 5-2 to Scott Mitchell, 5-1 to Richie Edhouse and 5-4 to Wessel Nyman. His averages are available for two of these games and were 87 and 91. Barney played in the event the following night, winning one out of his four games. However, he averaged above 88 in all of them. On the final night, he won three out of his four games. He averaged in the low 80s twice, but also 94 and an incredible 108 in a whitewash over Scott Mitchell. Ironically, he also whitewashed Martin Adams on this night. He finished the week 5th out of the 6 players, having won 8 out of his 20 games. 
Throughout the rest of the year, many other webcam darts weeks were held, but Barney did not play in another one before attending Q School at the start of 2021, where he managed to win a tour card back. Then, in September of 2021, the suspected match-fixing incident was the focus of an episode of a Dutch podcast focused on fixing by NOS, a Dutch public broadcaster. Barney told the podcast that he stopped playing in the online tournaments due to the allegations. The police had looked into it, but paused their investigations until new information was available. Barney stopped playing in the events, stating that he was a bit done with it as everyone was looking too closely into every match he played. He denied fixing the game, stating that he is vehemently against match fixing and that he just didn't like it and would never sell himself. Research by the podcast showed that gambling accounts in Spain and Nigeria had bet nearly tens of thousands of euros on Adams winning and that similar patterns were seen in Australia. On one website, 60,000 euros was bet on the game compared to an average of 700 euros on the other games that night. Barney was also initially favourite, but the odds shifted due to the confidence of betters in Adams. Barney stated that he was told by one of the commentators ahead of the game about the money placed on him to lose, which he said stressed him out and caused him to play badly as he was thinking about the reaction that would happen if he lost. When Barney and Modus were made aware of the police investigation, Barney wanted to stop playing and Modus said that he should take it easy for a while. Only the police investigated, but not the DRA, as Barney was not a tour card holder at the time and so both he and the event were not regulated by DRA rules. Following the Barneveld incident, players in webcam darts with odds had to submit their phone and bank records to be viewed by the DRA. This led to both Wessel Nyman and Carl McKinstry receiving bans from the sport for fixing that took place in modus webcam events. McKinstry was given a longer ban as he failed to give over his phone records. The allegations around Barney's incident are all based on speculation as he has not been convicted of anything by either the DRA or the police. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications as currently, less than 15% of my watch time comes from subscribers.